everyone! Thanks for stopping by today. Today I'm here with Poppy Stamps and they have done a collaboration with Rania Foils. And Rania Foils are so cool. They come in a whole bunch of different colors and they're double-sided. So when doing projects like 3D flowers or anything that needs to be folded, um, it's a really neat effect to be able to have that double-sided uh, foil. And also I love foils, like if you see the center of that pinwheel with the little flower, embossing from the dies really stands out um, when using foil. So to get started, first of all, um, I watched a video tutorial online of how to make these. The difference is, is these are a lot smaller, and so I just thought I would make it easy. I'll put the link down below of the original video, which is really fun. You can make 3D um, pinwheels that actually work. But I just combined these with um, some poppy stamps dies for some fun cards. So these don't spin or anything, but they're um, they're just really fun to make. So it's hard to believe these started off with little one and three eighths inch squares, just four of them. And I chose two out of the solid purple and two out of the patterned purple. The solid purple has gold on one side and solid purple on the other. The patterned has the same pattern on the front and back. I just simply die, uh, cut them with my scissors into triangles. And you can see here that I am going to be finding the center of the of just the tip of that triangle. So I'm not bending the whole piece. I'm just bending enough to where I can find the center of that. And then to get it started, you can see I die cut just a little circle, glue half onto the uh, side of the triangle, and that gets glued down. So this is what it should look like. Now, at this point, you've got two options. See how the gold is shining through in different spots here? This depends on whether you put these pieces face up or face down. I want the gold in the center, so I'm putting the gold face down and that's what will show in the center. And then you just stagger them. You just glue them and stagger them all the way around from that middle point of the last one that you did. So you don't have to fold all of them, just that very first one to get you started. And you can kind of see the progression here, how it goes, and this is how it ends up. The next step was to fold over each wing of the pinwheel, and I'm not folding it per se, I'm just kind of bending it with a little bit of glue on the tip so that the tips can be glued to the center. So the edges are not technically folded with a crease. And then once all of them are folded over, um, I die cut a circle out of the purple, and I'm putting one of the floral blossoms onto the center. And then I put just a little bit of fairy dust on the inside and it looks just like a crystal. Now here I'm going to just put this little card together and I'm using the grassy edges from Poppy Stamps and I wanted to show that if you leave enough room when die cutting that, um, that grass, you'll have room for a sentiment. And so here I am just uh, die cutting the Butterfly Symphony, into the background and then I went in and put foil pieces over the butterflies so that I wouldn't have to waste any at all. I could just use little pieces for those butterflies. So then I just laid the Butterfly Symphony top panel over top of the base and inlaid the little die cut butterflies. And I could have left it just like this but I wanted to put the little white um, pieces back in and I just glued the very centers of the butterflies so that the wings would stick up. And then I glued down that pinwheel and a little strip of paper. Now before I affixed the grass, I went ahead and um, die cut, or, uh, embossed a sentiment on top of that. And you can see here that this grassy edges by Poppy Stamps is really long. It's about six inches long so it could work either way and I just cut it down. And then I just put little extra butterflies on the inside of the card um, so that it would kind of pull it together. And I love how this card turned out and I love the sentiment of enjoy your day. This could be birthday or just anything. So for my next card, I'm using these pinpoint um, dies from Poppy Stamps and they don't actually die cut anything, they leave an impression. And so what a wonderful subtle background uh, for these pinwheels to, to rest on. So. I just found the center of the card, lined up the center one first, and then did the two off to the sides. I didn't measure, I just kind of eyeballed it, and it looked 
great. So then I'm just adding on panels. This was actually eight and a half by three and a half inches wide. And I love these, um, these cards that are this size. They're unique and they can be uh, vertical or horizontal. I made this one horizontal and put another Enjoy Your Day embossed in gold on the inside. So I'm sure that the rollers of the post office would squish these if they were mailed. So I suggest using them as gift tags or cards within the gift itself um, or mailed inside of a little box or something that's not going to let it squish. I hope you have a great day. See you again soon.